It's annoying the people that ruined uh, Salvia for certain other people. Just like, I'm so very grateful. I had a very difficult time and everything a few different times, but um, I never had people like laughing, looking at me, like looking all around, freaking out or anything. Like I never, and I was, I actually have been that person too as a teenager. I was a dick at one point, like sort of like, you know, egging someone on that's, you know, tripping and stuff and trying to like bother him and stuff like. Uh, looking back, like, I hate that sort of behavior, just being a prick to people and everything. But I'm so very fortunate that I never experienced that. I think that's one of the reasons why it's illegal in certain states and different countries. Just, like, people would keep the... Just, like, let's film our reactions and let's put no fucking effort into having a comfortable set and setting and everything. Like, I'm... I think even more into, like, I try to make things special. I put ceremony into it. Like, act like this is, like, a sacrament or something. Even though I'm agnostic and everything, I'm still, I'm sort of convinced that there is, you know, whether or not there's, like, an afterlife or souls or God or anything, it's, like, there's a very good chance there is, like, other intelligent life out there. there that's, like, a given. Like, there has to be more life, like, somewhere out there. There's a good chance there are other universes other dimensions, whatever, but there may be, like, we don't have the answers, to act like we have the answers is really ridiculous, we should keep our minds open, and question everything, and just leave things, you know, I don't understand, like, acting like we have all the answers when we clearly don't, but anyway, it's just, like, I, I love the ceremony of doing things, making things special, like, you know, like, put on something comfortable, say a few words, you know, wait to the right time to begin with, like, wait until you feel like it's the right time and everything, like, this just feels like it and everything, you know, get a cool pipe, don't, like, I'm really into stuff, like, you know, get something that feels sort of more, like, special and stuff, and just, like, treat it like something that, you know, deserves reverence and respect, these are powerful things, it's not to be used as a party drug, and people really ruined it that way. It's so frustrating. I wouldn't even, like... Honestly, I'll probably, like... If I remembered, like, a lot more and there was more to tell, I wouldn't mind posting trip reports and stuff. And I do like reading them. Unless sometimes it might be something too personal and sort of, like, you feel like that's a special thing to keep between you and whatever presences are out there. Or maybe out there. But, um... I would never, like, film myself using these things, you know, and, like, post it online, that ruined so much, there's so much stuff, like, and some of it can really, I don't want to tell anybody to use this stuff anyway, because it, it is, it can be, you know, a, a difficult, if not your most difficult experience facing this, and, uh, it's not something to take lightly, and it, that's why it deserves so much reverence and respect, and I know it might, you know, it's these things, you know, plants, evolve to make, you know, chemicals that are going to, uh, keep insects away from them, not eating them and everything. That's, you know, like fly agaric and stuff, different things will, like, attract things, but actually, like, you, they don't, they learn that they don't want to eat it because it has these effects, but then humans learn that, like, these things can be very special and have, it's just such a cool thing. There are so many things, like, so many facets to, like, one individual thing there can be multiple yin and yang and beyond like gray area all sorts of things to like one thing it can hold so many answers like just something with a molecule whatever molecules whatever cells whatever anything working in our brain and elsewhere if you believe it whatever it is but yeah it just it really bothered me that that became even back before I tried it, like, even, you know, I went through a phase as an atheist, not just full-blown agnostic and stuff. Even if I didn't, like, believe in this stuff, I still believe it's something to be respected and not make a joke out. Like, I hate that. I, it's so annoying to see. It's like, I don't, first off, I'm, I don't get, these days especially, like, now I have so much empathy. I have, like, hyper-empathy. People just being humiliated or just feeling unwell, feeling awkward and feeling unwanted, it weighs me down, and I feel it, too, and I'm like, I hate this. I don't want to feel this embarrassment or whatever. And I already, I've always, with my autism and different 
schizophrenia, different feelings. I've had a lot of things where it's like a, a lot of times laughter feels sinister to me. Like even it can be like just a group of people having a good time, but it just it it just sets me off and it's just it makes me feel unwell. I know it's a selfish thing. I just can't help it. So like just imagine that, but like fucking a million fold because you're like out of this world on a different you know a psychoactive plan. Like having people laughing at you, like looking weird or whatever. Like it's a lot of you don't know what that person's feeling, and oftentimes it's sheer terror. You know, so it's just like, I don't know, it's just, I, it really sucks because these are, this particular thing that I'm most interested in, this plant and its, you know, active ingredients and everything, it holds, you know, you don't want to just, you can't, like, you'd have, it couldn't be Salvinor and A on its own because that's going to make you trip and it's, you don't want to be trip, you can't just, like, take a pill that's going to make you trip every day, but there's maybe things that you can isolate, they're showing... You know what's unique? I saw that uh, Beyond Pain Relief, I heard somebody using smoking salvia for pain relief, and I was like, holy shit, dude, I couldn't imagine taking that regularly. Like, it's a very special thing that you, I can't just use that every day. I, I can't imagine, like, blowing your mind that way. Soul, whatever. But uh, there may, it's interesting. I saw, apparently, I need to do some reading, but I've only heard one thing, but there may be some promise in schizophrenia treatment with a hallucinogen which sounds very backwards but because it's not the same you know place in the brain it's not the same place that dmt psilocybin lsd different things and not even cannabis different things. this is such a very different part of the brain that uh maybe that's true i don't know there needs to, again you're not gonna like die you're not gonna give like somebody that's trying to treat schizophrenia something to make them trip balls but uh Maybe there's something I don't I don't know how that would work, but uh, yeah. I'm these days I'm being really smart again. I'm not even doing out. I'm I had, my last alcohol was on Halloween, and I don't feel like I feel like it's it's such a normal thing. It's like I kind of uh, it just feels good to like sort of defy normality because it's like so many cultures. It's just like a part of like lightly. You get off work, you have a few drinks. It just feels good to be like that. Doesn't have to be the way it is, you know. But there were, you know, for a little while, there, man, this girl, she's so fucking beautiful and everything. Different, like, I've had crushes on, and I get sort of, uh, not that I feel bad for myself, but it's just, I can't help but, like, certain times, it's just, like, I'll want that connection to someone. I'll want, and I'll be like, I love the way this person looks, and I've got such a thing for her. And it just makes me want to drink and sort of, like, get a little giggly and, like, sort of forget about that and everything. But, like... I'm moving past things, not exactly in every way, but, like, I'm learning to be, like, really healthy and be, you know, stoic in different things. We don't need these things. I don't need cannabis. I don't need alcohol. But, yeah, I may in the future... I mean, I am... The Blue Lotus, I want to experience that for its onerogen, however you say it, uh, properties, uh, dream enhancement, dream recall... Uh, just more, usually just more whimsical or interesting, like, weird dreams. The other night, uh, the, it was the night after I had, uh, Blue Lotus in the day, and there was this weird thing, I'm not gonna say everything, but I was watching something from first p person view, and then I didn't want to see it anymore, so it came out of my first person view, and it started going like this, and then it went into my hand, and I was like, I want to get rid of this vision, and then it turned into sunflower seeds, and I put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in the freezer. It's just like, that's some weird shit. Like, there's all sorts of weird stuff that we can, you know, experience. Like, life is full of mystery, full of wonder, full of just all sorts of crazy questions. And we don't have all the answers. That's the biggest part. Like, we should stop acting like we know everything. It's like, just, you know, just venture out while buckling in or whatever just you know be smart be <laughs> mixing together words be strong and smart and uh reach out when you need help i'm always here to listen i hope there are always people you know just remember your worst days are not eternal i know that there are chronic illnesses and everything and i'm not gonna downplay that at all but yeah just please remain here for friends and family and uh
just there's so many cool things to life. Anyway, I love you. I uh, I love you. Uh, I hope you have pleasant times.